and the Chairman House of Representatives, Press Co. Comrade Grace E.K. has charged lawmakers at the national and state levels to prioritize the establishment of sexual offenses courts across the country as part of measures to tackle the menace of sexual abuse. Comrade E.K. made the suggestion at the unveiling of the book titled Tears from the Grave in honor of late Karen Akpaga, a rape victim in Abuja, on Wednesday. Plus TV Manuel Ehejian completes the report. Comrade Grace Ike says the creation of a special court for sexual offenders across the country modeled after the successful initiatives in Lagos and other parts of the world will not only help to reduce incidences of rape and other sexual offenses, but will also help to bring closure for affected families. Every day we are confronted with distressing accounts of girls and women enduring unspeakable trauma due to sexual abuse or violence. What is even more disturbing or worrisome is the growing trend of perpetrators committing murder, killing their victims after this heinous act, an act that must be condemned in its strongest terms. SGBV knows no boundaries. It transcends age, ethnicity, color, socioeconomic status, and geography. While the list of victims in Nigeria is extensive, many cases remain unreported due to fear of stigma and inadequate support system. And despite existing legislation imposing severe penalties for persons found guilty, persecution rates remain low. Victims often shy away from reporting due to fear of stigma and legal process. Karen's mom, thanks for your resilience. Not just for Karen, but for other children in Nigeria who have been victims and who probably might be victims in the future. You have stood unwavering. You have remained committed, not just because of your own loss, but because you have humanity at heart, and that's what you've been doing. When this happened, I remember we released a research, a harrowing journey which shows the harrowing journey for survivors, for victims and their families. And that's why I asked, what character can we say the nation has? When this case happened, what I would have assumed is for the nation to stand up and say never again. Karen is a Nigerian. If she's not a Nigerian, she lives here. That means the state owed her that duty, that obligation to protect her, for which we have failed. The author of the book, Lemmy Ugbebe, who is also the executive director of Men Against Rape Foundation, says the essence of the book is to provoke thoughts and get everyone to discuss the uncomfortable issue and seek solutions to the unending issues surrounding rape and other forms of sexual violence in the country. When I got into the battle to seek justice for 13 year old. Elizabeth Ochaya Ogwande also, who was serially raped and sodomized and drugged by a man and his son, the aunt's father, the aunt's uh, husband and the aunt's son. We promise that these two people will not be mere statistics, that we will continually remind the nation of their cases. Late Karen's mother, Mrs. Vivian Akpaga, who is still living through the pain of losing her daughter, expressed gratitude to everyone who have continued to support her in her travail. 17 years ago, I gave birth to a beautiful daughter. I named on the door. God had been good to me, so I said, God is good. Kevin Harpoch, and he has filled my cup. After two boys, I had a girl, and I was truly contented. The same cup I handed over to caregivers returned to me shattered beyond repairs. We are here today to remember Karen, my friend, my confidant, my daughter. It's been two years of an unending storm. But I thank God because I've had friends that have held my hand through the darkness called grief. Tears from the Grave is a book 
aimed at reawakening the consciousness of government at all levels and Nigerians in general to collectively fight against rape, the hydra-headed monster that is threatening the moral fabrics of our society. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.